Now we start to test the GA01P alarm box. Firstly, we check the parts we needed to test. This is the input terminal with the alarm beeper. This is a DC12 power input voltage. And we have prepared a SIM card. And also, also this is a battery for power failure alarm. Maybe your order package doesn't have this battery. You need to order it separately. Now we open the box to mount the battery to the control board. From the back side, we open the box. Plug the battery to this two pin white collector. Put the battery here. And then we cover it again. Okay, now we insert the SIM card in this direction from this side of the slot. Okay, input the collector. Now the battery is already on the board, but the bo bo box doesn't power on because the Switch is at the off side. If we move it to the on side, the device will be powered on. Now we start to power on the device to test. After power on, firstly the MCU will be lit. And later, around some seconds, the GSM LED will start to flash. After connected GSM LED will flash clear slowly. Power on, MCU LED lit and the GSM LED start to flash some seconds later. Okay, now flash quickly, around twice every second. After connected, it start to flash slowly. Okay, connected, and flash slowly. Now, we will start to program the mobile phone number into the device to receive the alarm SMS. We use the GSM alarm app to program. Firstly, we add a new device. Access control LAM, you can give a LAM, any LAM, for example, GSM. Access control number must be noted. It is the number of the device, the SIM card number in the device. Don't put input your mobile phone number. Select the type. Okay, now we have already have a new device. Press it to configure. Config button. Set up the alarm numbers. Program the numbers to receive the alarm SMS. We can program three numbers with one SMS command. This number is your mobile phone number. Don't input the device number. Mobile phone number. My mobile phone number is... You can input totally three numbers. Confirm. Send the SMS to program. We can check the LED status. When received the SMS, the MCU LED will start to flash quickly sometimes. And then during reply the SMS, MCU LED will flash slowly sometimes. Okay. Press the button. We watch the MCU status. Okay, flash quickly. Okay, start to reply, flash slowly. Okay, received the SMS, clear OK. Now, my mobile phone number is already inside the device to receive the alarm SMS. 
Now we test the input port. If we short the input port, the device will send the alarm SMS. If we disconnect the input port, it will send out another SMS to report the status changed back to normal. Okay, now we short the people start to sound. Send the SMS. Okay, we received the SMS alarm one. You can change the alarm text with your preferred text with the SMS command. You can check the command in our manual. Okay, if we disconnect it, then the input status back to normal. Okay, send out the alarm SMS. Received all. Okay, now we have tested the input port. Now we start to test the power failure alarm. Then first name, we need to move the DIP switch all to the on side. When on the side, when at the on side, if we disconnect the power input, the battery will keep to power on the device and also send the alarm SMS. Okay. Disconnect. Still powered on with the battery. Some seconds later, okay, start to send the alarm SMS. Okay, received. Backup battery power supply working. And if the power supply back to normal, powered on again, the device will send out another SMS. After send out the SMS, the device will go to the power safe mode. The GSM module will be powered off to save the battery. You can see the MCU status. Some seconds later will flash quickly one time to show it is still working, but in the power safe mode. Okay, we power on again. The device back to normal. And the GSM start to collect again. After collected, the device will send out the alarm SMS to report the status back to normal. Okay, MCU. Okay, start to send the SMS. Okay, received. Normal power supply working. Now we have tested all functions of the device, it is very easy to use. Thank you.